so Sunday, they told us we had to say only nice things. And we were the only two they could find. <laughs> tradition when somebody has a milestone birthday. When somebody has a milestone birthday, we do um, that number, like if your birthday is 50, you have 50 things we love about you. So your birthday is 70. So Margie and I have 70 things we love about you. And, that, and they're short, so it's okay. Because <laughs> 70 is a really, really, really big number. So, you know, it, it took us a while to come up with 70, 70 things, 70 years old. And here we go. So, you want to start, Margie? You want to go first? Yeah, I do. Uh, I like the way that she can carry on a conversation, and within 30, second, we've, 30 seconds, we've switched topics at least 10 times, maybe more. And then you wind up, I think there's a DSM-3 diagnosis for that, isn't there? <laughs> Okay, um, so from my psychologist husband, who's already had to go, but this is what, this is the not totally nice thing, but he said, you are nuts, <laughs> but we love that, but we love that, that makes you unique, and I love your passion for the work in Haiti, yes, and um, here's one that goes along with that, this is how much you have passion for Haiti, that you would drug yourself unconscious before you got over the fear of flying so you could go and be with your husband in Haiti and do the work with him there. Thank you, Elvin Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> and I like her love for tradition. And I know your family really enjoys that as well. Okay. And I love your creative ways of telling other stories. It kind of reminds me of how Bennett used to tell stories. <laughs> Okay, and um, we love your beautiful blue eyes that are always twinkling, and I decided God put a little bit of glitter in there, you know, because you have to have glitter. I like your pride in repurposing, regifting. Oh, well, let's just recycling. <laughs> Almost everything that you have. All right. My kids say, I asked my kids what they would want to add to this list, and they said that you let nothing go by unnoticed. Not a birthday a wedding, a new baby, a funeral, any time to celebrate or cry together. You are always there. And you give one-of-a-kind gifts, the best kind with a personal touch. And I love the way that you immerse yourself in studying God's Word. Mm -hmm. So while we're on that topic, let's just say that you have dug down deep into God's Word and you share all of your treasures with us. And we are so happy that you've done that. And um, you've inspired everybody at Pleasant Valley Church to be more like Jesus. That's a big ministry that you have here. And your outreach to men women's ministry is legendary. Not just here at Pleasant Valley Church. That's right. Not just here at Pleasant Valley Church. But in the state, in the nation, and all over the world. That you have shown God's love to women everywhere. And I like your love for history, and especially for artifacts. So, David, you're safe. <laughs> okay, you have filled up our homes with encouraging notes from your heart and from God's Word. Everywhere I look in my house, I've got a little something framed that you typed up or that you wrote by hand, or I'll open up a drawer and there'll be a little note that you wrote me to encourage me at some certain time in my life. And... Uh, that's a wonderful thing, that I can know that I have a friend who cares that much about me. And the thing about that is, I'm not the only one. You have taken that much time for every single solitary person in this room. And that is a huge gift that you've given to all of us. I love your pride in your children, your grandchildren, how much time you spend preparing things for them to do when they come to your house and have so much fun. Mm-hmm. You put God's love into every fiber of your family, and not only that, you've welcomed all of us to be a part of your family. You've opened up your home. We've all been there. We've all had wonderful memories of you in your home and with your family. And uh, you're just a true friend to everybody. You look around the edges. Everywhere you go, you look around the edges, and you say, you come up with 
up here. You're in the edge, but I want you to be in the middle. And you call everybody in, every single person. You say, they need a little, they need a little love and help. I'm going to pull them in. That was one line. <laughs> I know. We said we didn't do this. We didn't do this. So we, so we said, we're going to say some of each other. Uh, I love your view of fashion. I, I think you usually say, give me a magic marker, give me a sewing machine and my purchases from Savers, and I'll become a fashionista. <laughs> yeah, and right along with that, your sense of decorating in your home, I love that you are not too proud to use the leftovers or to hang a chandelier that you found by the side of the road, and I'm not making that up. <laughs> I love, I, I like your, what, your love and care that you have for Gracie. And Gracie, by the way, is a dog. Uh, in case you don't know. And I was reading quotes about age uh, today, and did you know that if you were a dog, you would be dead? <laughs> okay. Um, you always bring joy and laughter with you when you walk in the door. I cannot think of a time when I have seen you when you came in, there wasn't just energy and excitement and happiness that came along in the door with you, kind of like Pit Pin with his trail. But yours is good, it's not dirt. It's happiness and love and joy. And you shared that with all of us. And you taught us that it's okay to laugh at yourself. And that makes life a lot more fun when you're willing to do that. What comes to my mind is the Tasmanian devil. But, you know. <laughs> I like that you don't ask me to ride with you. <laughs> listen closely, to abandon conventional foundational garments. <laughs> and I like the way that you, <laughs> you choose uh, the wise women of our congregation and you make special ways that they can share their wisdom with us. I just wonder why you haven't asked me. <laughs> Church, I appreciate that you have taught our kids not just to know God's Word, but to know God Himself. And you say yes to BBS even when you're really too busy. And you make it the best, most memorable thing ever for our kids. I love that you love a good Passover and that our kids call you Mrs. Shalom. <laughs> I like the way that you really ask for a critique and that you actually listen. And I, I appreciate that. Uh, I like that you can keep a secret. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the cream pitcher that you gave me because it was your mother's. Thank you. And she compliments the smallest of things. She even compliments the way I make pimento cheese. <laughs> oh, oh. And I like that you can't turn down a piece of chocolate, and you have got a lot to take home with you. I, I'm not sure, David. This is not good. I mean, you know, we're going to have to do it's some. It's not dark chocolate either. I know some of it is, and I, I like the way I like your view of exercise. I don't share it, but but I like your view of exercise. I had a post on Facebook that said this. You like this? I just did a week's worth of cardio after walking into a spider web. <laughs> I love to travel with her because it's always an adventure, particularly when you are unpacking a suitcase in the in the terminal because it was overweight and you did not want to pay the extra. <laughs> and you know what was in it? Books to take to Luke. <laughs> Luke's children. Okay, I love the way you remind me of Moses, your favorite Bible character, and I got that one right because we have something in common about that. And what you remind me about Moses is that you are a friend of God. And that's what the Bible says about him. And you remind us of Elijah because you would go up against the prophets of Baal and call down fire from heaven in a heartbeat. And you would love it, just like you did. And you remind us of Mary because you are truly a handmaiden of the Lord. 
and you remind us of Jesus because you have been very sacrificial in your life and you give everything, everything for others. Oh, that is so good. Why don't we just close with that? <laughs> that was too good. I, let me see if I've got anything else that I want to say. Oh, I do like the way that you surprise others, but we got you, didn't we? <laughs> And, I, and as Linda mentioned, you don't mind other people laughing at you. So, and that, that's a good quality. We, we've all laughed tonight and had a wonderful time. And I thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of that. Okay. You ready to wind it up? Okay, here we go. This is the end. This is what we love about you. You love the Lord. You love your family. You love people in need of a friend. You love us. You love. And that's what we love about you. We have a, uh, another person who will be coming up here in a moment, not just yet. We have uh, somebody who I grew up with, looked up to, and loved very much. And I have no idea what he's going to say because he is coming in and I have not approved this script, and I'm excited to hear what he will say. So, Tom Garner, please join us.
And I am so thankful because as much as anything else, Linda, you really do role model Jesus. Thank you. As I said before, we could pass the mic throughout the night, and I think those are wonderful comments to end on. Uh, I want to thank those who helped make this happen, especially to uh, Linda Parker, Margie Wood, Linda Thompson, Krista Warnock, and to our family who uh, united to make this happen, um, and especially to every one of you who walked with us and shared your story with us. We love you, and we are just honored to have you with us tonight to honor mom. Um, it's been a wonderful night, wonderful time of blessing. Um, so thank you for coming out. Uh, thank you also for contributing the 4 by 4 cards to the banner over there. There are more waiting in a mailbox um, that Linda has not seen yet, Mom has not seen yet. But if you have not been able to do one, you can still do that. There are some markers here, and you can tag it up there with glitter tape and put it on the banner. Um, we also have a chocolate bar. Linda Smith. We'll just get Linda Smith. I just got to tell you something, yeah. truthfully. I, I can't believe this. I really thought we were not going to do this this year because we had said we weren't, okay? And I'd already had some wonderful celebrations, but, you know, I've been here for how long? Since you were like 40 years, okay? But he was like born almost. And um, I have made trouble here. I mean, you know that. I have. Somebody, uh, Missy Duke said yesterday in the yard, she, she shocked us all at times about stuff she's done. But I can just tell you that I am so grateful for not only how you grew up my kids and helped them understand God and service and how you've loved David and his passion for the people of Haiti to support it. that work so wonderfully. But also you have, you have put up with me and I know that I do some good things, but I know that I don't do them the normal way sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just don't. I don't know why. It just doesn't seem to work that way. And you've just been so sweet to me through the years and cooperated and encouraged me and had fun with me. And uh, you were so sweet when Mom and Daddy died and, and um, supported me during that loss and then David's mother and Daddy. And you just, you, you're just what a church should be. I just think when I look around at the people here that are just so giving and so sweet and kind and love the Lord and have gone through so much yourself. I just see women sitting here who don't have their soulmate and Lewis and other men here who don't have their soulmate and you kept coming and loving people and serving him and I just am so glad I have you as my church family and, and uh, I just want to thank you so much. So again, thank you for coming. Thank you, Mom. Um, and we do have chocolate in your honor. Uh, people brought chocolate tonight, and it is over there. Um, and so you're welcome to get chocolate. You're welcome to sign a card, um, put it up. We have the CDs that we'll be distributing as you leave. We'll actually just put them on the table over there in the middle, maybe. Um, and um, I think just we've heard a lot about love tonight, and I, I have learned a lot about love from Mom. Um, a couple years ago, she came to our house, and she said um, she was having another midlife crisis. And <laughs> I think it was distilled down into, what am I doing next? Um, she finished a video series and she was thinking about what's the next step and she just said what she really likes to do is give and I think that's the form of love that she shows so much and has shown so much of us and that's why we come and rally around her and, and love her so much um, that love that's taught by our creator um, she's taught me she's taught you and that's what we celebrate tonight so thank you mom for the way you've demonstrated that um, we will dismiss now. I feel like we could sing a prayer or uh, say a prayer, sing a song. We could do a lot of things, but let's enjoy fellowship. So um, thank you for tonight, and um, I don't know. I almost feel like we need to dismiss. So <laughs> thank you for coming. <laughs>